Hey guys, how's it going? Weeby here, and today I've got something really, really good I want to show you. I was super excited when I saw this on War Thunder Live. But somebody has made the BAC Lightning in War Thunder. And I was just like, what? I have to play this right now. I haven't actually flown it yet, okay? So this will be my first reaction as well as yours. And I'm just, I'm so excited right now. You don't even know. The BAC Lightning's one of the planes I've always wanted to fly. And ah, oh, there it is. <gasps> okay, stuff it, go. Should we do realistic? Yeah, have realistic, because then we get, to, well, it's based off of a MiG-17 flight model, apparently, because obviously reasons, you know, flight models are quite hard to develop. But, um, yeah, just go, 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 don't care, it's lightning. Oh, I've got a close pass! What's it going to look like? What's it gonna look, is it going to look good? I don't know. Oh, I can hear it! <gasps> oh my god! What? That is freaking awesome. Look at that! Okay, it's got reduced texture models, but it still looks phenomenal. What the hell? What? Dude, this thing is awesome! What guns does it have? Oh, it has 30 mils. Sweet. <laughs> How awesome is this? All right, let's take it up. See if we can break the sound barrier. Because I think we have to take it up to about... Mm, 2,000 meters to be able to probably go in a dive and break the sound barrier. But look at this thing. Does it have a cockpit? No. Wow. I will leave a link in the description below so you guys can go test out uh, yourselves. And I believe the guy's name that made this is Snozzletoff. Which is an absolutely awesome name, by the way, Snozzletoff. Fantastic work on this, seriously. Um, you've put a BAC Lightning in before, guys, she has. So um, <laughs> that's something to definitely be proud of. But look at this. It's doing 300 in a... Is that... Yeah, a nearly 30 degree climb. That's insane. We're nearly at like 5k already. If we go to 7k, then dive. I've got to see if it can break the sound barrier. We've got to do that. Come on. Keep going. Do it. Oh, now this is the altitude where this thing should be. Look at that. Right now, all we need is the V Force Vulcan Valiant Victor. All right, let's turn it. Oh, look at the al the elevators! Not the aliens. Look at them. Those are so cool. I I honestly hope one day this thing comes in game. Oh no, you <gasps> you put me at a lower level. Okay, it's kind of worked in my favour actually. Look at this thing. I reckon it probably turns really well at high speeds as well. Oh, look at the guy in the cockpit! Look at him! Oh, this is so good. Alright, once we once we get to 7k, we'll dive. Oh, look, contrails! Hell yes! Look at it, it just keeps climbing! Okay, 7,000 7, meters. Actually, do we 6.5? No, 7, because we needed as much. Um, much attitude as possible. Come on. Keep going. Do it. Look at them. <laughs> I love the elevators. They're great. Come on. Keep climbing. Keep climbing. Keep climbing. Am I dropping altitude? No, I'm not. I'm gaining it. Good. Look at... Oh, I'm so happy. I've been waiting for this plane for so long. Oh. Now, as I said, this has got a MiG-17 flight model, so the actual stats of the real aircraft aren't don't matter at the moment. But the the actual model of this thing is just phenomenal. I'm I'm really really happy somebody spent the time on actually trying to make this thing. Oh, not not trying. They have made this thing. Okay, we're at seven. Ready? Three, two, one. 
Dive, dive, dive. Let's go. See if we can do it. See if we can do it. Come on. We can do it. Keep going. I've forgotten what the sound barrier is. It's like 764, I believe. Come on, slowly lift up. Get all that speed. All of the speeds. All of the speeds. Come on, 700. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. 64. 64. Come on. <laughs> okay, so it's rather clear that it can just about nearly reach the sound barrier than breaks. So, um, yeah. I guess that's because it's a MiG-17 flight model, though. I mean, the real thing would have gone way past the speed of sound. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, this, honestly, this thing is absolutely phenomenal. If you want to try this out for yourself, do feel free to look in the link in the description below. And honestly, honestly, 100% props to Snozzletoff because this thing is just gorgeous. It's, oh, it's so sexy. I mean, it's Gaijin wor worthy, you know, texturing and modeling. So, you know, Gaijin, get off your ass, put it in, you know, because cool. It, it'd be, it would be stupid not to see a lightning in game. I mean, I'd like to see some Cold War stuff. I think that should be the maximum. You know, early Cold War would be really cool. Um, it just means guys, you're making a few more maps. I mean, there's Moscow. There's that Moscow map. I have never, ever got onto that. Did it, you know, everyone, like a couple of patches back, they're like, oh, yes, we have new map, Moscow. It's like, well, well <laughs> it is designed for jet battle. Okay, why isn't it in jet rotation then? I've never been on it, ever. That would be great for Cold War stuff. As well as maybe Germany, it's kind of like a German map would be really, really good for Cold War as well. Let's see how it looks when it comes into land. Come on, down you go. Good girl. There, look at that. Come on, down you go. There we go. God, this thing is just sexy. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure you hit that like button below. Subscribe if you're new around here for more War Thunder content. And put in the comment section below if you really would like to see the BAC Lightning in-game as well as some other Cold War aircraft. I'd be interested to see that. Remember, check the description below for the link to this uh, to this rather lovely model. And uh, the installation is rather easy. Um, I'm hoping... Well, I might put a comment on that, that live to explain how to uh, install it. Anyway guys, take care. I'll see you next time.